In this video, I'm going to give you my best expired listing script. This script has enabled our team to list hundreds of expireds and gave us a huge advantage in our market. Hi, I'm Charles Curry with Smart Agents, and we help agents get more listings with powerful listing strategies that actually work. So what is the best expired listing script? Well, the best script is when the expired sellers call you to list their home. That's right, we've actually gotten dozens of expireds to do this, where they call us on the phone and ask us to come list their home. In fact, some of them were so interested that they even drove to our office to meet with us. And some of them, we signed a listing agreement right there on the spot before we had ever even seen their house. And I never thought this was possible until it actually happened. So how do you get this to happen to you? Well, I'm going to show you. What you want to do is send expireds your rocket package that shows them how you're going to get their home sold even though it failed to sell before. And you can prove that to them by showing them all the amazing things that you do to market a home. So for example, if you show them something that their former agent didn't do, they're going to think to themselves, gosh, you know what? I don't think my agent did that. Hmm, you know what, maybe I should have hired this agent. And when you do that enough times, you get them thinking that enough times, eventually they'll realize they should have just listed with you in the first place. So how do you get them to think that? Well, first you wanna talk about all the things that sell a home. For example, a great marketing plan. Show them your marketing plan and then add in any other supporting documents that you have for it. For example, great and amazing photos. photos Photos are super, super important part and a lot of people take crappy photos. So if you have good photos, you can get a home sold. Now staging a home and showing it off in its best natural light, that will make a big impact and also smart pricing strategies. Now once you've talked about your marketing, now you have to prove that it actually works. So what you want to do then is you want to include case studies of homes that you were able to sell that other agents failed to sell. Now, if you don't have any of these case studies, then what I recommend you do is use your brokerage's case studies. And I'm sure that somebody in your brokerage has a case study where they were able to sell someone else's expired. Now, you might have to dig a little bit, but they are absolutely there. And add in any other supporting materials that you have. Like I said, testimonials, add any testimonials that you have. And if you don't have any testimonials of your own, then again, get them from your brokerage. If you're just starting out, I recommend using your brokerage's credibility and reputation to get you listings, okay? Now, you can also talk about home selling mistakes that they need to avoid like the plague. This is gonna make them realize why their home didn't sell with the last agent. For example, like I mentioned, maybe the pictures weren't very good, or maybe their agent just never figured out the right marketing angle for that house to get it sold. Again, include your references. Um, what you can actually do for references instead of testimonials is just someone that's, you know, saying something nice, but a reference is someone that could actually be called or contacted. What you can do is just put the person's name and phone number on a sheet of paper or even on a sticky note is a really good way to do it. Or include their email if they don't want people calling them out of the blue. And a lot of times people don't want to call out of the blue in the first place. They'd probably rather email. Now, the thing is most sellers won't even bother calling your references, but but those references will really make you stand out. And then of course, make sure that you include your business card on the front of the package and you can just staple it to the front so that the seller has your picture, knows what you look like and they've got your contact information. Now, here's why an expired listing package like this works so well. Psychologically, people tend to trust things that they can hold and they can feel in their hands. And studies show that people are a lot more likely to believe stuff that is actually written down. And this is why this strategy has worked so incredibly well for us. Now here's an insider tip. Get this package into the seller's hands as quickly as possible. So if their house is on your way to lunch, then stop by and drop it off to them or drop it off at their house on your way home for work. Knock on their door, introduce yourself, tell them why you're stopping by, and sometimes you might even be able to tour their house 
notes right there on the spot, and it's almost like doing a little mini spontaneous listing presentation. Now, if you can't drop the package off, then go ahead and mail it to them. You can put it in a little yellow envelope like this. And if you're one of those people that does like to call expireds, then this is going to make your prospecting way, 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 way more effective. Studies show that if you mail someone a great marketing package like this one, and then you call them, you are eight times more likely to get an appointment. Eight times, that's a lot more, right? This strategy also works really great with Fizbo's and any other sellers out there. So give it a try. And if you would like to learn all the details about how to list expireds and all the details of exactly what to put into your expired listing package, then click the link in the description to get my most recent expired listing workshop. And I'll break it all down for you there, step by step, how to use this method to list expireds easily in your market today.